This place is amazing. I mean, that's that's quite the view. Swati Kap. <laughs> that's right, we are back in Thailand this week, except instead of being in Bangkok where I was speaking at an event last week, we've actually taken a short flight down to the resort town of Phuket for a couple of days of relaxation and meditation about great loyalty loop experiences. Last week on the Loyalty Loop, I showed you the big amazing difference a Loyalty Loop experience can make in acquiring new customers when you show people you're different instead of telling them you're different. But I know a lot of you are thinking, hey, you know what? I'm not in customer service. My job is not to make sure that the experience is different. My job is to acquire new customers. Well, that's what we're gonna address this week on the Loyalty Loop from right here in Phuket, Thailand. Now we've been in Phuket for a couple of days and we've had the opportunity to experience some awesome things. Uh, in fact, yesterday we went on a boat trip to Phang Na Bay to see one of my favorite places, a James Bond secret lair. That's the beach where they landed. Bond, James Bond. Right. If you know the man with the golden gun, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's right, Scaramanga's secret island retreat. I took this picture just to prove that I was there. There's, there's my wife, Liz. Hi, Liz. <laughs> we also did some amazing snorkeling here, right here in the bay, at an amazing resort called Trisara, which I'll tell you more about next week on the Loyalty Loop, but that's not why you're here. You're not here to hear about my amazing vacation in Phuket. You're here to find out why every person in your organization is in the customer service business. In fact, they're all marketers. We don't live in an age where you have the opportunity to say marketing is not your job. You see, everyone's job is to turn the customers you have into the customers you want. Last week I left you pondering one big question. And that question was, I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, well, Andrew, I don't know if this is my job. We have a customer service team. I'm in the marketing department and I want to come up with big, audacious marketing ideas for the front of the funnel. You see, transforming the customer experience turns into amazing marketing. And here's how. Let me tell you the story of my friend Richard Yu, who was one of the founders of Rackspace. And to do this, we're going to have to go back in time to the late 1990s. You see, in the late 1990s, most web hosting companies were serving up servers, and it was all about feeds and speeds. They were all about making sure you had the right equipment and the right amount of uptime to be successful on the web. And pretty quickly, as the web exploded and everyone got into building their own websites, feeds and speeds turned into just noise. Everybody was offering the same products and services and the prices started to plummet. And for Richard, who was in the web hosting business, this provided a quandary. How could he keep reducing his prices and maintain a viable and profitable business. He had to do something different. So what did Richard decide to do? He decided that everybody else was selling on feeds and speeds. What he was gonna do for all these brand new people in the web space was make sure that they got great support. Anytime someone outsources a critical part of their business, there's a lot of fear that they have that uh, what will happen in the middle of the night if my server goes down and uh, and someone else is in charge of it, will they, will they treat that matter as urgently as I would? And we have to be able to ensure that uh, not only will we treat it with the same urgency, we'll do a better job of it. You see, if you called support for one of those silicon-based companies that was providing web hosting, they would laugh at you if you didn't know how to FTP a file. 
They would just say, figure it out, you've got our server, good luck. But Richard realized that there were a lot of new players in the web game and that providing that kind of service was not going to work. So he decided he would make sure that every customer and client got any kind of service they needed to make sure their website was up and running and successful. That means if you wanted to learn how to FTP, his support team would stay on the phone for you as long as it took to make sure you got the files up to your server without any problems. And people loved it. Rackspace became known as the place to go if you needed wonderful support. If you wanted people to pay attention to your needs and concerns, to stay on the phone with you for as long as they wanted, you could call Rackspace and they'd deliver on that promise. Now, I know you're already saying, well, Drew, that's just providing a great experience. That's a loyalty loop experience. What does this have to do with marketing? Everything. You see, Richard came home one day and was watching MTV. And back in the late 1990s, there was a show on MTV called MTV Fanatic. Addicts. And it looked like this. Fanatic. You sent in your videotape to Fanatic. You were chosen. Now meet your inspiration. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and we're here in San Diego, California. We're about to surprise my best friend, DeAndre. He's been chosen to meet and interview Christina Aguilar in New York City. DeAndre has no idea. Right now, he's pumping gas and singing Christina Aguilar. He's her number one fan. You're going. We're going to New York City. Oh my God. And that's when it dawned on Richard. What he provided at Rackspace was not just any kind of support. He provided fanatical support. And there it was, my friends. Fanatical support was born. And instead of it just being a back-end consumer promise that they developed and delivered in their customer service department, it became a marketing mantra. And to this day, Rackspace offers fanatical support. Rackspace is fanatical. Good afternoon, Rackspace Tech Support. This is Kelly. How can I help you? We're focused on providing customer service that is just fanatical. You see, when you pitch big, audacious, amazing, customer-centric ideas post-purchase, if they work, if they provide a differentiated experience, they can easily become the marketing on the front end you use to acquire customers. That is why every marketer should start with their service first. Transforming the experience turns into amazing marketing instead of amazing marketing that never fulfills a promise in today's world. I want you to think about the one thing you can do to change the experience, the one big thing that could turn into a differentiator that allows you to scale the message in your marketing. Build the experience first, scale the message when it works. That is it for today's loyalty loop from right here in Phuket, Thailand. I'll be back with you next week from Phuket because I wanna show you the one thing that this hotel does differently than any other hotel I've stayed at in the entire world. That one thing that has created a loyalty loop experience so good, I might actually fly the 27 hours to come right back here and spend more time. For now, I'm gonna grab my sunglasses and get a drink and a coconut. See you later. Ah, yeah.